Kori Code Ko -o, Listen, also known as Calicut, is a city in Kerala, India and the headquarters of the Kori Code district. The Kori Code metropolitan area is the second largest urban agglomeration in Kerala with a population of 2 million as of 2011. The city lies about 275 km southwest of Bangalore, 235 km south of Mangalore and 525 km southwest of Chennai. During classical antiquity and the Middle Ages, Code was dubbed the City of Spices for its role as the major trading point of Indian spices. It was the capital of an independent kingdom ruled by the Samuthiris in the Middle Ages and later of the erstwhile Malabar district under British rule. Arab merchants traded with the region as early as 7th century, and Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama landed at Code on 20 May 1498, thus opening a trade route between Europe and Malabar. A Portuguese factory and fort was intact in Cori Code for short period 1511 to 1525 until the fall of Calicut. The English landed in 1615, constructing a trading post in 1665, followed by the French 1698 and the Dutch 1752. In 1765, Mysore captured Cori Code as part of its occupation of the Malabar coast. Cori Code, once a famous cotton weaving center, gave its name to the calico cloth. According to data compiled by economics research firm Indicus Analytics on residences, earnings, and investments, Cori Code ranked as the second best city in India to reside in. It was ranked 11th among Tier 2 Indian cities in job creation by a study conducted by ASSOCHAM in 2007. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The exact origin of the name Cori Code is uncertain. According to many sources, the name Cori Code is derived from Coil Coda fort, meaning fortified palace. The name also got corrupted into Kolikud, or its anglicized version Calicut. Arab merchants called it Kaligut IPA, Q -O -L -I -Q -U -T. Tamils called it Kalikote while for the Chinese it was Kalifo. In Kannada it was known as Kalikote. Although the city's official name is Cori Code, in English it is sometimes known by its anglicized version, Calicut. The word calico, a fine variety of hand-woven cotton cloth that was exported from the port of Cori Code, is thought to have been derived from Calicut. It is the historical capital of Kerala as the history dates back to 1498 AD when Vasco da Gama landed in Kapad, near Calicut. History Cori Code is a town with a long recorded history. From time immemorial, the city has attracted travellers with its prosperity. It has traded in spices like black pepper and cardamom with Jews, Arabs, Phoenicians, and Chinese for more than 500 years. As Cori Code offered full freedom and security, the Arab and the Chinese merchants preferred it to all other ports. The globe trotter Ibn Battuta AD said, We came next to Kalikut, one of the great ports of the district of Malabar, and in which merchants of all parts are found. Kori Code was the capital of Malabar during the time of Sri Samuthiri Maharajas, who ruled the region before the British took over. The city's first recorded contact with Europe was when Vasco da Gama landed at Kapad 18 north in May 1498, among the leaders of a trade mission from Portugal. He was received by His Highness Sri Samuthiri Maharaja. Faroque is a prominent administrative and commercial town located adjacent to the city of Khori Code, the remnants of Tipu Sultan's fort area telltale of the Mysore Emperor's dream to make Farukabad, now Farak, his new capital, but that dream was never realized. Known as Farukabad during the reign of Tipu Sultan, he wanted to make Farukabad meaning town of victory his capital when he conquered Malabar in 1788, but it came under the jurisdiction of the British when he was defeated. <laughs> Early Cori Code in foreign accounts Accounts of the city and the conditions prevailing then can be gleaned from the chronicles of travellers who visited the port city. Ibn Battuta who visited six times, gives the earliest glimpses of life in the city. He describes Khori Code as, "...one of the great ports of the district of Malabar," where, "...merchants of all parts of the world are found." The king of this place, he says, 
shaves his chin just as the Haidari fakirs of Rome do. The greater part of the Muslim merchants of this place are so wealthy that one of them can purchase the whole freightage of such vessels put here and fit out others like them." Ma Huan 1403 AD, the Chinese Muslim sailor part of the Imperial Chinese fleet under Cheng Ho Zheng He lauds the city as a great emporium of trade frequented by merchants from around the world. He makes note of the 20 or 30 mosques built to cater to the religious needs of the Muslims, the unique system of calculation by the merchants using their fingers and toes followed to this day, and the matrilineal system of succession. Abdur Razak the ambassador of Persian Emperor Shah Rakh finds the city harbour perfectly secured and notices precious articles from several maritime countries especially from Abyssinia, Zerbad and Zanzibar. The Italian Niccolo de' Conti 1445, perhaps the first Christian traveller who noticed Cori Code, describes the city as abounding in pepper, lac, ginger, a larger kind of cinnamon, myrobalans and zetteri. He calls it a noble emporium for all India, with a circumference of 8 miles 13 km. The Russian traveller Athanasius Nikitin or Afanasi Nikitin calls Kalekit a port for the whole Indian Sea and describes it as having a Big Bazaar. Other travelers who visited Cori Code include the Italian Ludovico di Varthima (1503–1508) and Duarte Barbosa. Topic: The Samuthiri. Cori Code and its suburbs formed part of the Polonad Kingdom ruled by the Porlatiri. The Aratus of Nedirapu in Aranad wanted an outlet to the sea, to initiate trade and commerce with the distant lands, and after fighting with the king Palathiri for 48 years conquered the area around Panyankara. After this, Menoki became the ruler of Polonad and came to terms with the troops and people. After this, the town of Kori Kode was founded close to the palace at Talai. Then, the Aratus shifted their headquarters from Nedirapu to Kori Kode. The governor of Ernad built a fort at a place called Velipurum to safeguard his new interests. The fort most likely lent its name to Koil Kota the precursor to Kori Code. Thus the city came into existence sometime in the 13th century CE. The status of Udayavar increased and he became known as Swami Nambiathiri Tirumulpad, and eventually Samuri or Samuthiri. Europeans called him in a corrupt form as Zamoran. According to K.V. Krishna Iyer, the rise of Kori Kode is at once a cause and a consequence of Samuthiri's ascendancy in Kerala. By the end of the century, Samuthiri was at the zenith of his powers with all princes and chieftains of Kerala north of Kochi acknowledging his suzerainty. Geography and climate Geography The city of Kori Code is 410 kilometers 255 miles north of the state capital Tiruvananthapuram. It is located at approximately 11.25 degrees north 75.77 degrees east, 11.25, 75.77. It has an elevation of 1 meter 3 feet along the coast with the city's eastern edges rising to at least 15 meters, with a sandy coastal belt and a lateritic midland. The city has a 15 kilometers 9.3 miles long shoreline and small hills dot the terrain in the eastern and central regions. To the city's west is the Locative Sea and from approximately 60 kilometers 37 miles to the east rises the Sayadri Mountains. The geographical conditions of city area and suburban areas are similar to the other parts of the district falling in coastal and midland zones. The region comprising Kori Code Corporation and Peri Urban Blocks belong to the Low and Midlands in the typical classification of land in Kerala as Low, Mid and Highlands. Lagoons and backwaters characterize the lowland, which receives runoff from the rivers. The lowland is often subjected to salinity intrusion. The coastal plains exhibit more or less flat, narrow terrain with land forms such as beach ridges, sandbars, and backwater marshes. A few kilometers from the sea to the east, the surface gathers into slopes and clustering hills with numerous valleys in between formed due to floods and sediment transport. The Midlands is represented by hummocky rocky terrain with lateritized denudational hills and intervening valley fills locally called Elas. 
The Elas are fairly wide in the lower reaches of Midlands and narrow towards the upper parts of the Midlands. A number of rivers originating from the Sayadri run along the outer reaches of the city. These include the Chaliar Puja, Kalai Puja, Korapuja River, Punor Puja River, and Iravanji Puja. Of these, Kalai River that runs through the southern part of the city has been the most important culturally and historically for Kori Kode. The Kalai River has its origin in Cherikalathar village. It is connected with Chaliar on the south by a man-made canal. The river passes through Cherikulathar, Kovur, Olavana, Maneva and Kalai before finally joining the sea near Kori Kode. The length of the river is 22 km 14 miles. The Korapuja River is formed by the confluence of the Agalapuza with the Punarpuja, and it joins the sea at Elathar. The Agalapuza is more or less a backwater while the Punarpuja originates from Arakinkuni. The total length of the river is 40 km 25 miles. Panarpuja is a tributary of Korapuja. It passes through the northern boundary of the study area and joins to the sea. The river is perennial. Kanoli Canal was built in 1848 to connect the Korapuja River in the north to Kalai River in the south. It functions as a drain to reduce flooding in the city during the rainy season and as a navigation channel. A system of wetland mangrove forests pervade the city from Kalai River to Aranhikal. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Climate Kori Kode features a tropical monsoon climate, Köppen climate classification AM. The city has a highly humid tropical climate with high temperatures recorded from March to May. A brief spell of pre-monsoon mango showers hits the city sometime during April. However, the primary source of rain is the southwest monsoon that sets in the first week of June and continues until September. The city receives significant precipitation from the northeast monsoon that sets in from the second half of October through November. The average annual rainfall is 3,266 mm. The weather is milder from December, January until March when the skies are clear and the air is crisp. Winters are seldom cold, the highest temperature recorded was 39.4 degrees Celsius in March 1975. The lowest was 14 degrees Celsius recorded on 26 December 1975. Demographics Total population under municipal corporation limits is 550,440. Males form 47.7% and females 52.3%. Kori Kode has been a multi-ethnic and multi-religious town since the early medieval period. The Hindus forms the largest religious group, followed by Muslims and Christians. Hindus form the majority at 57.7% of the population with 315,807 members. Muslims form 37.6% of the population with 207,298 members. The Corporation of Kori Code has an average literacy rate of 96.8%, national average is 74.85%. The male literacy rate is 97.93%, and female literacy rate is 95.78%. Pre modern Kori Code was already teeming with people of several communities and regional groups. Most of these communities continued to follow their traditional occupations and customs till the 20th century. Brahmins, too, lived in the city mostly around the Hindu temples. Regional groups like the Tamil Brahmins, Gujaratis, and Marwari Jains became part of the city and lived around their shrines. The Nairs formed the rulers, warriors, and landed gentry of Kori Code. The Samuthiri had a 10,000 strong Nair bodyguard called the Kojakotu Pathanayuram the 10,000 of Kori Kode who defended the capital and supported the administration within the city. He had a larger force of 30,000 Nairs in his capacity as the Prince of Aranadu, called the Kojakotu Muppadinayuram the 30,000 of Kori Kode. The Nairs also formed the members of the suicide squad Chaver. The Thias formed the Vaidyars physicians, local militia and traders of Kori Kode. The Muslims of Kori Code are known as Mapillas, and according to the official Kori Code website, the great majority of them are Sunnis following the Shafi school of thought. There are some smaller communities among the Muslims, such as Dawoodi Boras. Many of the Muslims living in the historic part of the city follow matrilineality and are noted for their piety. 
Though Christianity is believed to have been introduced in Kerala in 52 CE, the size of community in Malabar Northern Kerala began to rise only after the arrival of the Portuguese towards the close of the 15th century. A few Christians of Thiruvidinkor and Kochi have lately migrated to the hilly regions of the district and are settled there. The Tamil Brahmins are primarily settled around the Talai Shiva temple. They arrived in Kori Kode as dependents of chieftains, working as cooks, cloth merchants, and moneylenders. They have retained their Tamil language and dialects as well as caste rituals. The Gujarati community is settled mostly around the Jain temple in and around the Valayangadi. They own a large number of establishments, especially textile and sweet shops. They must have arrived in Kori Code at least from the beginning of the 14th century. They belong to either the Hindu or the Jain community. A few Marwari families are also found in Kori Code who were basically moneylenders. Civic <inaudible> <inaudible> administration <inaudible> 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 The city is administered by the Kori Code Corporation, headed by a mayor. For administrative purposes, the city is divided into 75 wards, from which the members of the Corporation Council are elected for five years. Recently neighboring suburbs Baipur, Elathar, Sheruvanur and Nalalam were merged within the municipal corporation. Kori Code Corporation is the first city corporation in Kerala after the creation of the state. Established in 1962, Kori Code Corporation's first mayor was H. Manjanatha Rao. Kori Code Corporation has four assembly constituencies, Kori Code North, Kori Code South, Baipur and Elathar, all of which are part of Kori Code. <laughs> <laughs> Corporation election 2015 Topic. Political performance in election 2015 Topic. Initiatives by district administration Operation Sulaimani – providing food with dignity for those who cannot afford a meal through contributions from the public. Project 4N – maintenance of roads through public participation. Savari Jiri Jiri, to enable students to travel in buses with dignity. Compassionate Kori Code, the brand name for plethora of initiatives launched by the district administration in partnership with civil society, government agencies and citizens, who volunteer to make Kori Code an authentic and inspirational destination for them to live and invite others to visit and experience it. It is the brainchild of the current district collector Prasanth N. IAS. Law and order The Kori Code City Police is headed by a commissioner, an Indian Police Service officer. The city is divided into six zones each under a circle officer. Apart from regular law and order, the city police comprises the traffic police, bomb squad, dog squad, fingerprint bureau, women's cell, juvenile wing, narcotics cell, riot force, armed reserve camps, district crime records bureau and a women's station. It operates 16 police stations functioning under the Home Ministry of Government of Kerala. Transport. Topic. Road The city has a reasonably well-developed transport infrastructure. A large number of buses, predominantly run by individual owners, ply on the major routes within the city and to nearby locations. City buses are painted green. Kerala State Road Transport Corporation KSRTC runs regular services to many destinations in the state and to the neighboring states. The city has three bus stands. All private buses to the suburban and nearby towns ply from the Palayam bus stand. Private buses to adjoining districts start from the Mofusil bus stand one of the largest bus stand in Kerala on Indira Gandhi Road, Mavor Road. Buses operated by the KSRTC drive from the KSRTC bus stand on Indira Gandhi Road. KSRTC bus stand Kori Code is the biggest bus stand in Kerala having a size of 36,036.47 m2. 
There are also KSRTC depots in Thamarasuri, Thatilthalam, Thiruvambadi and Vedakara in the district. There are two routes available to Bangalore. One is Kori Code Gunlupe Mysore Bangalore, this road is most preferred one but is very busy. Another route, less used, is Kori Code Gunlupe Chamarajanagar Kolegal Bangalore. Private tour operators maintain regular luxury bus services to Mumbai, Bangalore, Coimbatore, Chennai, Velour, Ernakulam, Trivandrum, Oti etc. and mainly operate from the Palayam area. These are usually night services. National highways National Highway 66 connects Kori Code to Mumbai via Mangaluru, Udupi and Goa to the north and Kochi and Kanyakumari near Tiruvananthapuram to the south along the west coast of India. This highway connects the city with the other important towns like, Upala, Kasaragad, Kanhangad, Kanner, Thalassery, Mahe, Vatakara, Koyilandi, Vengalam, Ramanatukara, Kadakal, Kudapuram, Panani, Guruvayur, Chavakad, Kodungalar, North Paravar, Edipali and proceed to Changanasheri, Kanyakumari. National Highway 766 connects Kori Code to Bengaluru through Kolegal in Karnataka via Tirumakudal Narsapur, Mysore, Nanjangud, Gunlupe, Sultan Bathory, Kalpeta and Thamarasuri. National Highway 966 connects Kori Code to Coimbatore through Palakkad. It covers a distance of 125 km 78 miles. At Ramanatukara, a suburb of Kori Code, it joins NH66. It passes through towns like Kandati, Malapuram, Paranthalmana, and Manarkad. This stretch connects the city and Calicut International Airport. <laughs> State highways Shish 28 is the Kerala section of highway connecting Kori Code and Gudalar near Oti. The highway is 103.6 kilometers, 64.4 miles long. It passes through important towns like Manjuri and Nalambur. Shish 29 passes through the city. It connects NH 212, Malabar Christian College, Civil Station, Kunamangalam and Padanilam, Thamarasuri, Chelat, Chitragiri and road to Gudalar from Kerala border. Shish 54 is connecting city and Kalpeta. The highway is 99.0 km miles long. The highway passes through Pavangad, Kori Kod, Ulayeri, Parambra, Pujithodu, Puruvanamuji and Padinjarathara. Shish 68 starts from Kapad and ends in Adivaram. The highway is 68.11 km miles long. Shish 34 starts from Koyilandi and ends in Edavana. The highway is 44.0 km long. Topic. Public transport The city buses of Kori Code are green colored and they are very cheap and punctual. All the city buses start and end at the Manankira Pond area. Buses going to the northern side originate from the post office side of the pond. Buses going southwards originate from the girls' school side. Buses going to the Isadurn side originate from the income tax office area. The new government bus station on the Mavor Road is the boarding point for long-distance buses. This modern bus station has 350,000 sq feet, space shops and parking facilities. Kori Code is one of the cities to be granted the new generation air-conditioned low-floor and non-air-conditioned semi-low-floor buses under the JNNURM City Transport Development Project. KURTC and private buses operate frequent schedules to neighboring areas including Nitkalakut, IIMK etc. Call taxis and auto rickshaws called autos are available for hire. Topic: <laughs> Rail The history of railways in Malabar dates to 1861 when the first tracks were laid between Turur and Baipur. Kori Code Railway Station is the only A1 railway station in Palakkad Railway Division, it is in the Sharnar Mangalore section. Today, Kori Code is well connected by rail to cities like Tiruvanantapuram, Kochi, Kolam, Palakkad, Coimbatore, Katpadi, Velour, Hyderabad, Chennai, Bangalore, Kannur, Mangalore, Mumbai, New Delhi, Vijayawada, and Visakhapatnam. Uh, 
Topic Air. Calicut International Airport is 26 kilometers 16 miles from the city at Karapur. Regular domestic services are operated to major Indian cities. There are frequent international flights to the Middle Eastern air hubs like Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Salalah, Muscat, Dammam, Riyadh, Sharjah, Bahrain, Doha and to domestic hubs Chennai, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Mumbai and New Delhi. Economy Cyberpark, is a government of Kerala organization plan to build, operate and manage IT parks for the promotion and development of investment in IT and ITES industries in the Malabar region of Kerala. It would be the third IT hub in the state of Kerala. The two IT parks might create a total 100,000 direct job opportunities. The first project is the development of Cyberpark Hub in Kori Code with its spokes at Kanner and Kazargodi IT Parks. Other planned projects include the Birla IT Park at Mavor and Malaysian Satellite City at Kinalore where KINFRA has plans to set up a 400-acre industrial park. In 2012, Kori Code was given the tag of City of Sculptures Shilpa Nagaram because of the architectural sculptures around the city. Topic. Shopping The city has a strong mercantile aspect. The main area of business was once Valiangadi Big Bazaar near the railway station. As time progressed, it shifted to other parts of the city. These days, the commercial heart has moved to Mitai Thiruvu Sweet Meat Street or SM Street, a long street crammed with shops that sell everything from saris to cosmetics. It also houses restaurants and sweetmeat shops. Today, the city has multiple shopping malls. Focus Mall, Hillite Mall, the second largest mall in Kerala, and RP Mall are a few among them. Currently, new shopping malls are springing up all over the city. This has changed the consumer habits, shifting the center of commerce from SM Street to these places. Topic: <laughs> Music. In addition to the Malabar Mahatsavam, the annual cultural fest of Kori Code, every year since 1981 the Tyagaraja Aradhana Trust has been conducting a five-day music festival in honour of Tyagaraja. The festival is complete with the Unshavriti, rendering of Divyanama Kritis, Pancharatna Kritis, concerts by professional artists and students of music from morning to late in the evening. Kori Code has a tradition of ghazal and Hindustani music appreciation. There are many Malayalam ghazals. The late film director and playback singer M. S. Babaraj, from Kori Code was influenced by Ghazal and Hindustani. Media Radio The Kori Code radio station of All India Radio has two transmitters, Kori Code AM 100 kilowatts and Kori Code FM Vivi Bharati 10 kilowatts. Private FM radio stations are Radio Mango 91.9 operated by Malayala Manorama Co. Limited. Radio Mirchi operated by Entertainment Network India Limited and Club FM 104.8 operated by Mathrabhumi Group and Red FM 93.5 of the Sun Network. Air FM radio stations are Kori Code 103.6 MHz, Air MW radio station is Kori Code 684 kHz. Television A television transmitter has been functioning in Kori Code since 3 July 1984, relaying programs from Delhi and Tiruvanantapuram Durdarshan. Doordarshan has its broadcasting center in Kori Code at Medical College. The Malayalam channels based on Kori Code are the Shalom Television, Darshana TV and Media One TV. All major channels in Malayalam viz. Manorama News, Asianet, Surya TV, Kairali TV, Amrita TV, Jeevan TV, India Vision and Jayhind have their studios and news bureaus in the city. Satellite television services are available through DD Direct Plus, Dish TV, Sun Direct DTH and Tata Sky. 
Asianet Cable Vision popularly known as ACV Telecast's Daily City News. Spidernet is another local channel. Other local operators include KCL and CityNet. The Calicut Press Club came into existence in 1970. It is the nerve center of all media activities, both print and electronic. Begun with around 70 members in the role, this press club, became a prestigious and alert media center in the state with a present membership of over 280. Education There are 1,237 schools in Cory Code District including 191 high schools. Cory Code is home to two premier educational institutions of national importance, the Indian Institute of Management Cory Code and the National Institute of Technology, Calicut In 1877, a school for young Rajas was started in Cory Code. This was later thrown open to all caste Hindu boys. In 1879, it was affiliated to the University of Madras as a second grade college and with this, collegiate education in the district received a Philip. Secondary education recorded an appreciable progress since 1915. The erstwhile Malabar district, of which the present Khori Code district formed a part, holds a high rank among the districts of Madras Presidency in secondary education. Location Topic <laughs> See also Cory Code District Cory Code East Cory Code South Cory Code North Cory Code Beach Airport Road Cory Code Pavangad Cory Code List of people from Cory Code